at this question we have three important principles principle one provides that law treats marriage and sexual companionship between husband and wife as sacrament and seeks to penalize any interference by a third party in it principle number two defines adultery and principle number three defines bigamy the facts in the present question are Geeta was lawfully married to Salim on her office tour to Andamans, she met her college boyfriend named Carl and ended up having consensual sexual intercourse. Decide. Assume if Salim would have acted the way Geeta did, having sexual intercourse with knowledge about marital status of someone else's wife, would he be liable for any offence? Now, in this question, the correct answer is D. That is, Salim would be liable for adultery and not for bigamy. Now, the reason why D is the correct answer is, if we read the principle, we get to know that law treats marriage and sexual companionship between husband and wife as a sacrament and seeks to penalize any interference by a third party in it, right? So over here, uh, principle number two clearly defines adultery. So applying the essentials of adultery as provided in principle, that is, a person who has sexual intercourse with a person who he has a reason to believe to be wife of another man without the connivance of husband shall be punished for adultery. So applying principle number two to the given set of facts, we can say that Salim would be liable for adultery but not for bigamy, right? Because he has not married, right? Now D is the correct answer.